COVID-19 and travel restrictions. Saudi Arabia lifts the COVID-19 and travel restrictions again for its citizens traveling across the world to different countries. Remember, we all know the disastrous effects that are being caused by what we call the COVID-19 pandemic. Globally, not only in the Gulf countries, but even in the other countries, like in Africa, in the other continents like Asia, and North America, Europe, uh, Central America, and the Oceania. All, and we've seen a lot of travel restrictions being put in place. We've seen a lot of governments, a lot of countries, trying to link fringe their people or their citizens from moving one country to another. Also look at those people that have been coming to seek for jobs in the Gulf countries, like for people who are come to look for jobs in Qatar, uh, jobs in Bahrain, we look at jobs in the UAE, uh, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Sharija, Ajman, Free Zone, and we also look at countries like Kuwait, Oman. We look at the kind of procedure that you've been able to follow, or what kind of precautionary requirements have always been put there for you to travel to those countries. One of them you need to you needed to be fully vaccinated, to have gotten what you call the three doses, the two doses. Uh, those are approved by the Minister of World, uh, Minister of Health. Uh, then also, and uh, those doses that are approved by those respective countries in one way or the other. Uh, so, that you needed to have those doses. To some countries, to the extent, they've reached the extent where you should have what you call the three doses. That is the first dose, the second dose, and also what you call the booster dose of the COVID-19. Then also, uh, we look at the PCR test. PCR test has been as one of the requirements for travel, especially to, to different airlines and to different countries traveling from one area to another. All that we are talking about, we are talking about the disastrous effect, or we are talking about things that are being brought, by, brought about by what you call the COVID-19 pandemic that caused the spreading from 2019 until we are still having that situation we are not yet got back to normalcy. Now, right now, is Saudi Arabia has lifted some of its travel restrictions uh, from uh, from its citizens. Actually, it has barred, barred its citizens from moving to some of these countries. And in this video, I'm actually going to give you a list of those countries that Saudi Arabia, uh, Saudi Arabian government, that is putting uh, a be, uh, is putting a restriction on its citizens to travel to those countries because of uh, the COVID-19 related uh, cases and how definitely those countries have tried to hold, to hold on or to, to handle the COVID-19 situation. And remember, some countries are getting back to normalcy, some countries are just getting back to uh, economies that are free at one way or the other, whereby you only need to, to be vaccinated for you to travel and you do not need a PCR test for you to either take a border airplane or even book a ticket or move to another country. That They, they want to see the global um, back to normalcy with the tourism in one way or the other. So, Saudi Arabia has announced a fresh travel ban to its citizens for countries due to what we call the COVID-19 cases in those countries. The list of the countries will include the following. So, if you're Saudi Arabian citizens, as per the government, you are not allowed to move to these countries because of what we call the COVID-19 cases in those countries. The one is Turkey, Iran, Afghanistan, India, Yemen, Somalia, Ethiopia, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Yemen, Congo, Libya, Indonesia, Vietnam, Armenia, Belarus, and Venezuela. Remember, the electorate of uh, the passports uh, emphasize the validity of the passport for those people that are going to travel, especially if it's a Saudi Arabian citizens and you travel into those countries, that the validity of the passport for you to travel to any countries outside internationally, as according to the Saudi Arabian sources, it should be six months. The validity of your passport should be extremely six months. If you are traveling to an international country that is out of what you call the GCC, uh, GCC region, that is according to the directory of the passports and uh, immigration uh, in 
the Saudi Arabian government. Then still it also stresses that much as the ID is not required for Saudi Arabian citizens to travel to the Gulf countries, still also there is a validity of the passport if you are a Saudi Arabian citizen that is moving to the Gulf country to, to the Gulf countries, which they definitely as all they have what you call a corporation that the validity of that passport should be at least three months before you travel to the Gulf countries. Remember, when we are talking about the Gulf countries, they have a corporation whereby to traveling from one country to another country, if you're a citizen of the Gulf countries, uh, you do not need to have what you call a passport to travel, but you can still also instead use what you call your ID card or residence permit to travel and give a pass to go to the next country. However, but according to the Saudi Arabian sources, according to the Saudi Arabian government, or director of passports, he still has to stress is that for any Saudi Arabian citizen to travel from one GCC country to another GCC country, still the requirement will still stand that his passport, in case is to use his, his or her passport, in the validity of that passport should be three months. Likewise, when you look at international travel, for especially for people who are coming to these Gulf countries to look for a job, I still have to stress this. I think I made one video regarding the validity, what regarding the passport requirement. And I was actually letting you know what we call the six month passport rule. That is what applies because for you to travel to any foreign countries, at least your passport should have a validity of six months. That is according to that is according to the six month rule of the passport, uh, which generally applies to all international country. Likewise, when you look at Saudi Arabia, I think it is uh, when you look at in the Gulf Corporation uh, uh, Council, uh, as much as the IDs are required to, to try and to, to, to ease the movement from one point to another, from one GCC to a country to another, but still the Saudi Arabian government still stresses it that that passport should have the validity of three months at least. Thank you so much for coming back. This channel is makes from the next creation, by the way, if it's your first time to come across this channel, support this channel by subscribing. By the way, it's the only way that will be updated whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much for supporting. New subscribers, the uh, new subscribers, the returning subscribers, thank you so much. By the way, if you feel this video is so important and helpful, don't forget to give up a thumbs up. Don't forget to put a comment. Drop a comment in the section below. Tell me what you feel about the video. Tell me what you want me to talk about. Uh, is there something that we need to share? Is there something that we need to talk about as a group? Is there something we need to let people aware? I'll always be very grateful. Thank you so much. See you again.